Big Poppy Montgomery, everybody. A little jet lagged. You're a little jet. Where did you come from? Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> are, you, are you dating someone in Toronto? Please say yes. No, but I have dated Canadians before. Really? Right. Okay. Briefly. Brief briefly. Moments. Went to on dates with, not long term. You found dates. out they were Canadian and you, you dumped them. <laughs> I love Canadians. Do you do? <laughs> really? Yes. Where are you from? Australia. Oh, it's well. part of the Commonwealth. We're also well. That's what it was a part of the old British Empire. There was all there was. Yeah, yeah. and they had the Queen on their money. The, we they had the Queen. Australia. Yeah, you didn't have a revolution either, did you? No. <laughs> I'm like, really? now, they had a re revolution here. You know, they kicked the the Brits out here. I that's know. why I came. Well, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You have to represent. When did you see Anthony Lapaglia, who does the, the Without a Trace? He's he's Australian as he well. He is Australian. So there's two Australians on an American and show. And Marianne, who's British. Yeah, Marianne. Um, Jean Baptiste. Jean Baptiste. She was here. Last night, the night before. Oh, she was. Yeah. Uh, we're the foreign FBI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're... We all sound American. You sound American on the. None of you are American. No. I'm. I'm outraged. Well, Eric Close is American. Oh well, you've got one American on an American <laughs> show. Well done. <laughs> I. Uh, wait a minute. I'm not originally from America either. <laughs> here though, isn't it? It is, I love it here. I like it here. Do you, I, do you live here now? Is this it? You're I do. I live in Los Angeles and I, I get home to Australia not that often, actually. It's really far away, you know, but my it family It is very far away. It. I know that much about it. It's, yeah. um, yeah, I would, I would say that, <laughs> I would say that I consider America my home. Yeah? Which part of Australia are you from? Sydney. Sydney, that's yeah. the bit where no kangaroos are. That's no the big kangaroos, Sydney. no koala bears. Although people seem to think we have them hopping down the highways there. Yeah, yeah. And the koala bears just kind of fall out of trees. Uh, well, they do fall out of trees. Well, they do koala. because they get stoned on they those leaves. They get stoned on the eucalyptus yes, leaves, that's do. right. Yes, they do. That's why, and then they just drop right out of the tree. It's true, This you is know. actually true. It's actually true. We know that's it I, it's true, isn't it? It is true. They'll, you'll be, they will be sitting in the tree. They're always stoned. And yeah. they'll sit in the tree and some of them just thud. Yeah, because <laughs> all they eat is eucalyptus leaves. That's their whole diet, right? Right, which apparently you could get stoned on if you ate enough. I tried that. I tried it. I, tried it. <laughs> uh, so I did. It didn't work. It didn't work for me no, either. No, I think you have to eat them all day and be very, very small. Yeah, I did that too. I, I, <laughs> it was I, the only time I, I, I held a koala bear at a national park in Australia and it did a poop on my shoe. They're very vicious also. They're, are they vicious? They're vicious, vicious little creatures. Only when they don't get their, well, their no, medicine. Well, no, 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 they're, they're, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they start going through the draw. Yeah. They're not cuddly and sweet, and they have very sharp claws, and, and I experienced that once when you I held You were attacked by a koala? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? It scratched me and spat at me. This is, uh, this is absolutely true. This on a, was a on a koala school bear. Yes, yeah. because you hold them. And they actually are very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to believe this no, is no. true because people love koala bears. Yeah, but they don't know the truth about koalas. <laughs> the Koala Bear Association, they're going to yeah, come yeah. get us. No, they're, they're bastards. I know the truth. Let <laughs> them get us. Stop them out. Stop them out. What about kangaroos? They're not vicious, are they? Kangaroo? Oh, sure. I got a kangaroos are vicious too? too? Yes. I went to this kangaroo park. Yeah? And they're called Big Reds. Big Reds. And there were the... And they That's can stand gum in this country, by the way. Gum. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. They can stand up. And when... I mean, to seven feet... Haven't you ever seen the boxing kangaroo, that cartoon? Yeah. No? Well, no I, you know, I've seen... I've seen... Uh, I've seen Scooby-Doo, the talking dog, but dogs can't really talk. No, you know. but these can kangaroos box you if they get mad. Do they actually strap on gloves? No. <laughs> but they do do the boxing. They, kind of, uh, they attacked my car like Cujo once. Really? I was feeding them at the kangaroo park. Yeah. They all started to aggressively come towards the car for more food. I Medicine. ran out of food. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't get out of there because it was a Cujo. No wonder you left Australia. I'm telling you. <laughs> Wildlife was after you. <laughs> we have the most poisonous spiders in the world, also. The, I know, I've heard of the poisonous spider in Australia. That's the red back. No, it? the oh, funnel web. The funnel web. Yeah. Lives in your pool for three days and attacks you while you're swimming. No, no. <laughs> Does it lie on the little lounger? <laughs> give you the stink guy? Does it give you the stink guy? <laughs> the what? The lounger, you know, for. <laughs> <laughs> 
bull that you lie on and read your book. Don't you have one? Yeah, oh, girlfriend, you're not alive. <laughs> What's the, what's the stink eye? Oh, the stink eye. The stink eye is what, like when, when somebody looks at you like that. Like, <laughs> like you know when, when a koala bear kind of gives you that kind of... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the stink eye. But that's not an American saying. Is it? I don't know. Is I, that, I... that might be European, the stink eye? It's American. No, it's American. It's American? Yeah, yeah, it's American, yeah. I have to Don't, don't clap <laughs> for a phrase, please. <laughs> No, that's it. That's what, so the funnel web spider gives you the sting. That's when you know it's going to strike. The funnel web spider rears back on its legs and pounces on you. Just like a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the damn same. I'm glad you came to America. The Thank Australian God. Australian Tourism Society is going to kill me. <laughs> no, no one's I'm, ever going to want to go there. No, no, it's a lovely place. It's you're a, a lovely, beautiful country. It's a lovely place and you're a lovely woman and we've completely run out of time talking about spiders. <laughs> and thank you so much for coming Thank in. you. Bobby Montgomery, everybody. Wow. Poppy Montgomery, everybody. Poppy, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I always think Poppy's a very cheery name. You, it would be tough to be depressed with a name like Poppy, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, and it's tough to um, be, de if you are depressed around anybody and your name is Poppy, or if you're not like a really bubbly, happy person, Yeah. It, it, they don't sort of understand it. It becomes yeah. this sort of confusing... It's like Corky, if we call Corky. <laughs> well... you know, no, no, it's not, it's not like Corky, but you know, it's like you say, um, my name's Corky, I'm really depressed. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work. work. Yeah. No. Also, you can't be like a brooding sort of actor, deep method type. No one buys it. No, I don't like that anyway. <laughs> uh, no, you, you don't want to do that. No, you're Australian. You don't want to do it. Exactly. A lot of people don't know you're Australian, though, because of the accent. Well, thing. I've lost it. Well, Com I can... Well, not completely. It sort of comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I have too much to drink. Yes. <laughs> Which we Australians like to I've do. I've heard Australians like to have too much to drink. Yeah. Well, <laughs> See, I'm going to get in trouble for perpetuating that myth, but we... we it's not we, a myth. I've been to Australia. No. I know. It's not a myth. It's like, it's like, oh, Scottish people don't drink a lot. Yes, they do. They do but yeah. why do we? Why do Australians drink a lot? Yeah, I can. They enjoy it, I guess. I, look, I can drink any man I know under the table, which is not a great accomplishment in life. See, I'm like that, you know, Indiana Jones, where she does the shots and they all collapse and she's still standing. Yeah, that's you? Well, you know, we were raised from about two to start. What are your parents like, hopeless alcoholics? What's the... Uh... <laughs> not what were they like, what are they like? They're still... No, they're not no, they're... hopeless alcoholics. <laughs> Christmas at my house is, um, you know, barbecuing and, and a lot of drinking and... Yeah, that's it. Beer and... Beer? But Australians, it's hot in Australia, so you need beer to cool you down. Exactly. It, it's like a summer... It's like a summer aid. Yeah. Fest. Exactly. yeah. It's the lemonade of Australia. Yes. Beer, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Kids sell it by the side of the road. It's all like pressing hops. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's lovely. Are you going home for Christmas? You going I back to Australia? I am. I'm going back to Australia. Um, my boyfriend's coming with me. It's oh, gonna first be time? Yes. Ooh, hello. That'll be nice. First time meeting my family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's going to be tricky. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be together in two and a half weeks. We'll see well, how Well, what are your goes. family like? Are they very accepting? Are they... Well, they're great until the liquor kicks in. And then yeah. all hell breaks loose. It's drama and, um, it, you know, it, it's like a, it's like Ab Fab at my house. Absolutely fabulous. Really? <laughs> yeah. Your parents kind of... <laughs> They have that kind of hippie vibe to them then? That kind of 60s thing? Y yeah, that, but they're not as mellow as hippies. They're more, um, <laughs> they're more like brawling Australian boozers. Yeah. Do you know, it, it gets, uh... Now you're perpetuating this no, stereotype. No, yeah. And if my mother sees this, she will never forgive me. I mean, they're very refined people. Right. They just, you know, like to hit the sauce. All right. What about, what about your boyfriend? Is he a big drinker? Will he be fit in there? No, my boyfriend is from New Canaan, Connecticut. Oh, hello. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> taking him down for a good old bush Christmas. Right, a, so, a bush Christmas. A bush Christmas. <laughs> oh boy, that takes me back. So what the... Uh... <laughs> oh, I 
just got that. What? It took me a second. What? Well, I thought it was funny, and then I really thought it was funny. <laughs> If I knew what the hell I was talking about, I'd think it was funny too. No, no, listen. My, my <laughs> so he's going down and he's not met your parents before. Is he nervous? Um, How long I have think you been seeing this schmuck anyway? What's, uh, <laughs> a year and a half. And, you, and he hasn't met your parents in 18 months? No, they're, you know, they trust my taste. Right. They're also completely opposed to marriage of any kind, so it doesn't matter to them. I called my mom and I was like, you know, I'm, I really, I love this guy. And, I, and she's like, oh, don't get married. Are yeah. you out of your mind? It's just paperwork. Live together. <laughs> That's my mother. So my, my dreams of, um, you know, traditional white wedding or of my father actually paying for it are probably Would, do, do gone. You, do, you think you, do you think you will get married to this guy? Will, will you have a wedding? I'd like to have a party. Uh-huh. <laughs> and be barefoot on the beach and drink Mai Tais. And you can go to Malibu for half an hour and do that. <laughs> we, we have to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with Bobby Montgomery, everyone. Very intense stuff, that, 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 all that shouting and pointing. And that, see, that, that's where my name does not come in handy. Yeah. No What's your character's <laughs> name on the show? Samantha Spade. Samantha Spade? Yes, like from the Maltese film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually didn't know that until about a year ago. <laughs> yeah. Samantha's a good name for shouting, though, isn't it? It is. It's, very, it's a serious name. It's yeah. a, it's Samantha a... Spade, I have no time for happiness. Well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Humphrey Bogart did it so well. Humphrey Bogart wasn't Sam called Spade. Samantha, though. Well, right? no, but they call me Sam. They call you Sam Spade in the show. I, of course they do. I see it all the time. <laughs> now, are you interested in that kind of thing, the forensic and the, and the... You mean in my life? Yeah. Um, do you, you know, watch those stuff, you know, like the Discovery Channel yes, things? Yes, I about... used to watch, like, cold cases and all of those. Now I have so much of it yeah. day to day that I, I don't really... Don't really watch? You know the one I, I liked? Do you know the, the one City Confidential? With that guy's voice, it's fantastic. It goes, in a sleepy little town in Denver. <laughs> and then this guy's, murder was on the menu. No! Like, oh, it's fantastic. But is it a real life one or is it like Yeah, it's always, it's always about like real murders in a sleepy little town. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Have you seen much of America? Have you gone out and seen much of it since you came here? You know, when I first came here, <laughs> I arrived in Florida, Sarasota, and I didn't have much money, so I took a Greyhound bus all the way to Los Angeles. Good Lord. And I saw the whole country. Yeah. Because it's like a four-day bus ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say. Did you go to the uh, Rattlesnake Museum in Albuquerque? <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. It is? Yeah. Wait, where's Albuquerque? Albuquerque's in New Mexico. It's, uh, oh, I don't think I've been there. New Mexico? It's, it's much like old Mexico. It's, uh, <laughs> it's nice. No. It's nice. Albuquerque's very nice. They've got a lovely square. Oh? Yeah. You know, uh, with a church and a... It's a sleepy little town. <laughs> you should go out and see... Uh, do you, have you been in Memphis? Have you seen Graceland? No, I haven't have you... seen... Me I want to go to Graceland. You've got to go to Graceland. I've been to Los Angeles, right. obviously. <laughs> yeah, America's big tourist yeah. destination. <laughs> yeah. New York. Mm -hmm. I almost said Toronto, but that would have been really bad. That would have been Germany. bad, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was just in Toronto. Um, wow. That's it, Los well, Angeles and, and Sarasota, Florida. And Sarasota. And then I drove across. Well, you were on the back of a Greyhound bus. Oh, not the back, necessarily. No. Yeah. I mean, I was looking out the window and yeah. I saw landscape. <laughs> bunches and bunches of. Bunches and bunches <laughs> of landscape. Of landscape. You, uh, this is your job before you come back here next time. Get out there and see some of this amazing country and then come back and tell us about it. I swear I will. You got it. Bobby Montgomery, everybody. We'll be right back. Please welcome Poppy Montgomery, everybody. Poppy, Poppy, how lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you. It's a, it's a lovely name, Poppy, I think. It's such a lovely name. Is it short for anything, like Populina or Populus or... No, I, it, it's it's hippie parents. You have Poppy hippie parents. Petal is, Poppy Petal yeah, was your real name. Yeah, but they <laughs> didn't do. People at school used to think that maybe they were doing some kind of hardcore opiates. Yeah, Poppy yeah. 
heroin. But you, you but you're not named after heroin then. I, I, you know, my mother says no. Right. I, I have to. <laughs> I'm going to hope not. That would be awful. So yeah. No, I think she just she had these flower fairy books. Yeah. And and all of my sisters are named for flowers. And then my brother's Jethro Tull. Your brother is Jethro Tull. I'm That's not, lovely. Wait. I, your brother's <laughs> name. Wait. Your brother's name is Jethro Tull. It is Jethro Tull, but he's not. I mean, Jethro Tull was was it a person or a group? No, I think it was a group that was named after a person. I think Jethro Tull is a character in literature, actually. I did Jethro Tull, or maybe it's just Jethro. Uh, the. Uh, <laughs> Isn't there a... I don't know, yeah. yeah He's like right. Jethro Tull after the group. All right, okay. Does he Is play the flute? Stand on one leg? All that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> no, right, okay. And if he did... Dave, hey, what's this? What, I, what is this? My new tattoo. Well, You've not You've got there. a tattoo? Yeah. Look at Look, that. Look, and this one too. Oh, well, that's lovely. Have you got two tattoos? I've got... One, two, There's more three. than two, aren't there? There's yeah. about six. Six? Six. Oh, you I need... have one here. Right. That was my first one. Are you going to... Uh, there's a little star a on little your ankle. Star. Are you going to take me through them? Uh, um, I, that would be a, a different kind of... Pro that would be cable. <laughs> <laughs> that would be for cable television. Right, OK, yeah. Where well, have you got them, then? You've got one, one in your... One on my lower back. Oh, you've got the little... Uh, nice. It's a... <laughs> I have um, one here. Right. On my bikini line. Right, You could yeah. call it. I, I, I would call it that. <laughs> started out as a sun uh -huh. and then bloomed into a sunflower. I had it expanded. Really? <laughs> yes. Why? Because the sun looked like a little creature. It didn't sort of work. Right, so you this had to... Getting a <laughs> no, this is just where I like it to be. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way things are going, actually. Well, I showed it to my mom when I got it and she said it looked like a crab. <laughs> but I don't think she got so I said, no, 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 it's a sun. And she said, well, it, it doesn't look like a sun. And right. I didn't want to grab it. <laughs> no, no, you don't, you don't. No, no. Not, not necessarily the place you... Uh, no. How are things in Australia? <laughs> Have you been back to Australia recently? Um, I went back last New Year's Eve. And, oh, yeah. and I'm still recovering from that trip. Yeah, they're fond of a drop over there in yes. Australia, aren't they? They're, they're... My mother had a drinking competition with my boyfriend and she won. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you know, I would, I would never try and out drink an Australian woman. Yeah. <laughs> no, not a great, no. Uh, I no, that no, was, I, um, no, I, you I mean, they're tough Australian women, aren't they? They're quite kind of, you know, um. You, you know, we like to think of ourselves as an iron fist in a velvet glove. Oh, right. That sounds kind of nice, actually. <laughs> That's like yeah. tough on the inside, but soft on the outside. Right. That's I mean, not my experience. I've been to Australia. I don't know where the hell you're getting this from, man. Right? <laughs> What part of Australia are you from? Sydney. Sydney's nice, isn't it? You get the it's Bondi. Beautiful. Do you surf? No, but I, I like to, I've told people that I do because I thought it was cool. Yeah, and I do that as well. Have you ever done that where there's a sport that you'd love to do, but I'm kind of too scared to do it, so I am... Um... Snowboarding. I do snowboard. I do too. Really? <laughs> yeah, I love to curl up the snow. Exactly. Yeah. And hang my uh, feet off the board. Oh, and do you, are you fakey or regular? Do you ride fakie or regular? No, I, 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 I ride re, re, pretty much regular, but sometimes a fakie if I've... Uh, <laughs> if I had a large breakfast, I go for the fakie. I, uh, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Poppy Montgomery, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm here with Poppy Montgomery. Uh, we were just watching a bit of with it. Do you watch yourself on television on Without No, Trace? I haven't seen it for a while. Um, I, I get very critical. Yeah? Get, yeah, it's hard to... Also, it's so cop-like. Cop-like? Yeah, I look at it and I'm like, wow, I'm It's a I'm cop tough. show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's... That, that, I am actually... Yeah, it's... Um, I watched it the first year obsessively. And right. then I, I started to sort of... Feel like it what might do you be. watch then on television if you don't watch yourself? I just watch myself and nothing else. What do you I watch? I was going to ask <laughs> I, wanna... I watch myself in snowboard. In <laughs> You're dashing. Them. I do. I just, I, sometimes I watch myself in a little portable television <laughs> while I go down the mountain. I'm like, mm, I'm so great. <laughs> You're more advanced than I am. I am. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I ride the, what was that thing? The... Fakie. Uh, yeah, I ride fakie with my television. <laughs> 
What do you watch then if you don't watch Listen, that? Listen, what I'm really excited about, we could go crash American Idol, you and I, right now. Don't you think that would be fun? I'm obsessed with that show. What, American Idol? Yeah. Yeah, what, why, why would we... Are we couldn't we... crash it right now. It's the middle of the night. How could we possibly... They'll all be gone by now. You know what, I'm on, I was just... I just flew in from... Yeah, of course, so you've got I'm a bit of jet lag, time. yeah. yeah. <laughs> be careful the way you're talking, you might set off the laugh track, you know. We're not gonna do that. Do you like talent competitions? Do you... I mean, do you... Do you did you do ever, ever do anything like that? No, I mean, no. I, my talent was untapped for far too long. <laughs> I didn't go on any talent mm. shows when I was younger. It made right. me nervous. Right. Um, but I would, I would now. What, go on a talent show? I think you're kind if of past I wasn't it though, exactly. right? Yeah. Are you saying I'm too no, old? No, no, not past it. No, no, no. I don't mean you're too old to go on a talent show. I mean, what I mean is you've kind of, you know, they'd be like, why are you here? Why aren't you, you know, solving Wouldn't crimes? Wouldn't it be fun to kind of go in disguise and try out for American Idol? I did Idol? that on American Idol. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't American Idol. What, what? Oh, yeah, it was a thing for, uh, they were having a CBS miniseries about Elvis. And I auditioned for the role of Elvis in an Elvis costume. Did you really? Yeah, and they didn't know it was me. <laughs> Elvis suit? Yeah, I do. Can I see all your tattoos? I'll show you my tattoos if you wear your Elvis suit on air. It's a deal. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll do it. When? I didn't think you were going to say yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm saying it, yeah. I'll, I'll do it. Now. Get the Elvis suit out. I'll do it. Now. Next time you're here, I'll wear the Elvis suit. And I'll show my tattoos. You got it. All right. Bobby Montgomery, everybody. We'll be right back. The lovely Poppy Montgomery, everybody. You look lovely. Thank you. You look absolutely lovely. And you had a baby on the show, and you had a baby in your life. I did. I love it. How is, is a little boy? Do you have a little, little boy? Little boy, little Jackson. Jackson. Yes. Named after anyone in particular? N no. It, Not we, Michael we, Jackson or anything like that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he was named, named after, after Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. No, no, we had about seven names, and he had all of them for a short period of time. And Jackson was last on the list, and it just sort of stuck. Are you going to will it get shortened to Jack? It will eventually, you know. No. No, no, I, no, no it won't. No, no, it can't won't. because, because, well, just it can't. Jackson's... No. <laughs> All right, it won't, because, it, it won't happen. I don't know why I, I wanted to up. call him Jack, but Anthony's character on Without a Trace is Jack, and I thought that people might think that was a little odd. Then I could have a daughter and call her Samantha. Jack and Samantha. Jack and Samantha Spade oh, yeah. from Without a Trace. It, it would just seem a little... Well, that would be good. Then they could, you know, when they grow up, they can do, you know, the next generation, like <laughs> Muppet Babies or something. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> are you getting any sleep? Not really. What age is Jackson? He's um, four and a half months. All right, here's what you need. You need a book called Healthy Sleep Habits, Happy Child. I'm telling you, that's what you need. Really? Yes, you buy that book. I'm, I'm no way associated with this book. I've just used it before, and it really works. Okay, what do you have to, like, are there, is it difficult, I mean... Yes, very, very, very difficult thing to do. No, because... No, no, you have to go to the store, get the money. <laughs> the... No, no, what happens is that the, uh, the book, it, it recommends a thing which is quite difficult sometimes, which you, you, you have to let no, the kids cry. No, not cry, I yes. can't do it, I'm such a softy. I am, I can't discipline him at all. I mean, not that you discipline Well, you don't have to him. discipline a four no, and a half month old. No, but you know what I'm saying? I'm never... You young man have pooped your diaper for the last time! <laughs> Every time he makes a sound, I have to pick him up and well, cuddle him. Well, you're his him. mommy. That's okay. Right. You can do that. I don't know if I could let him cry. Well, I, I think it, it, the, well, it depends on the type of crying and you have to, I don't know. I I'm going to get it. the book. You, know, you, you should read. Do you, they you have it get... on tape? Oh, not tape anymore. <laughs> That's kind of dated. Oh, no, no. Uh, not to me. I still get the big one that goes around. Uh... No, do they have it on... Uh, digital it's things CD or on the iPod. I've iPod. got it on the iPod. Yeah, you can download it through the uh, the game video console, <laughs> and you can put it on your phone. I don't know. And then you can phone up and find out how to make your baby go to sleep. 
Now, are you are you uh, are you very good with your uh, you know with the baby's father? Do you, you separate the you know he does one night, you do one night, all that kind of stuff? No, or? no. Well, the thing is that Jackson has been sleeping in bed with us. Okay. And so, I think Adam that's all right, sleeps probably. on the corner of the bed. He looks like he's in a coffin the way he sleeps. He's like this right. all night. Jackson takes up the whole bed. Yes. And I'm sort of cuddling Jackson. It's not. Yes. I've got. No, a, that's good, and that's very lovely. But at a certain point, you're going to have to uh, resume normal operations. <laughs> I know, and I and I want to apologize on air to my beloved for really <laughs> creating he watches a fan. this show. That's what I'm amazed at. <laughs> he loves this show. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And we're also up all the time, so. Oh, of course, yes. That's how I get you, isn't yeah. it? With a baby, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, it's true. Now, uh, have you any plans? Is Jackson, is, he's an American then, because you're an Australian. Yes, but he's going to have a dual, he's going to have both. Because oh, my really? father said he would not speak to me ever again if Jackson didn't have an Australian passport as well as an American. Right, so does he have to go there and, and do some Australian uh, quiz to get... Because <laughs> he was born here, Fill right? Out, little guy. Was he born here? He was born here. Right. And I, I think I just have to fill out some papers and, and send them in and... Got a tattoo hey, of a kangaroo up. on him or something. <laughs> exactly. Right. Here, I, look, did you go to the Country Music Awards? I did. I, I can go to... this year. It's great, isn't it? Oh, I want to be a country star. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I've wanted to be a country... Like, I... Can you sing? <laughs> you can't be a country star. Why the hell not? <laughs> because you're Scottish. Well, so what? You're Australian. <laughs> but I sound American. So do I. No. <laughs> yes, I do. No, I sound yeah. like an American that was originally born in Scotland. <laughs> you can't. No, you really can't be a. Keith Urban is an Australian country star. What yeah, Scottish? Yeah, you know, there are no Scottish country stars. Yeah, but when <laughs> Keith Urban sings, does he like good day, mate? I enjoy kangaroos. No. <laughs> but when he's talking, he's like that. I've met him. He's like good day, mate. This is my wife, Nicole. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, right. right. We really be like, great. We could that. be a duo. What the Australian? A country duo, like Captain and Tennille of country. How do I know who Captain and Tennille are? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Clearly they don't. <laughs> no Captain, one and does. Uh, Captain and Tennille were uh, soft rock, though. Do you like, do you enjoy the soft rock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the soft rock Right, myself. so you like the country music. Who, what kind of country star would you like to be? Patsy Cline, something like that? Loretta Lynn. Oh, me too. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> she was Scottish, you know. <laughs> Loretta Lynn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Original name, Loretta McLynn. <laughs> look, look, I could really, if I could sing at all, I Can would be you? a huge... No. Okay, that's going to get in the way. I sound... <laughs> but if I could sing, I bet I would be a huge country star. Well, if I could sing, I'd be a huge country star, which is fine. When I sing, it sounds like someone's being murdered. That's how it's been described to me by, by my castmates. Well, Can I just... talk you into singing something for us? Oh, that would just be... No! No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. It's okay. It's okay. It's not going to happen. But the whole fear of singing is going to get in the way of your country music career. Well, yes, that's true. I don't yeah, even have a response. No. I'm like, that is true. Right. No, I, I can sing... Well, there's nothing I can sing. I don't even sing Christmas carols. Well, you could sing Waltzing Matilda, couldn't you? That's Australian. Waltz. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go there. Dude, that was good. No. That was good. Right there. I'll huh? sing a song with you. All right, then. Waltzing Waltz Matilda. All right, ready? Right, ready? Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. <laughs> you come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he watched and waited Till by Till is Billy boiled. You come a waltzing Matilda <laughs> with me. Please welcome the lovely Poppy Montgomery, everybody. Poppy, Poppy, <laughs> you look sensational. Thank you. I mean, you. just say, look at you with oh. your dress and your Short hair and, and all the other stuff. <laughs> No, you look very, very well. I'm in my, um... That's the question. <laughs> uh, uh. I, 
I've been working really hard since I had my baby. Yeah, you had a baby. Uh, how, how is your baby? He's gorgeous. Oh, lovely. He's, he's big and I'm beautiful. surprised to hear you say that because sometimes new mothers go, oh, he's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'd rather not. But you do like him then. I'm in love with him. Oh, great. I mean, which is not going to be good for him when he's 16, but it's good now. He's going to be like, get off me, weird lady. Yeah, no, you, you, you'll change your mind a little bit as time goes on as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you won't <laughs> stop loving him. No, you won't stop loving him, but he will start to smell differently. Oh. I don't know if he could smell any worse than the diaper I opened. Ooh. It's if he smells like that at 16, he's got problems. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Now, listen, you, but you, when did you have the baby? Because you look like you're... Well, he's 10 months old, and I gained wow. 70 pounds with my pregnancy. Wow. Yes. I was having a haagen dazs baby. Yeah. Along with the real one. 70 pounds? 70 pounds, but I really... How, been... how, how much did the baby weigh? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> 63 sure. pounds of you? <laughs> I thought the baby was going to be one of those big 12 pounders. And, yeah. and he wasn't. He was very small. Petite, in fact. Right. Um, Seven pounds is it? in the neighborhood, isn't it? It's about average. Yeah, like seven and a half pounds. Yeah. And then there was 63 pounds of. Things to love. deal with. Yeah. <laughs> So how did you get in shape? Did you do, did you, what, starve yourself? Believe no, me or what? No, no, no. I what? started with a number of things. Look how I just answered that like it's a normal question. Well, it's no, Hollywood. No, 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 no believe me. No, I know no. that's so last year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, the first thing I did was um, I tried to do, I wanted to feel sexy with my weight on me. So I tried to lose it by being sexy and I took this um, pole dancing <laughs> I am very, very happy in the way this conversation is going. You took a pole dancing I class? I took a stripper pole dancing class. Stripper pole dancing, It was terrible. Say. It was terrible? Well, here's what happened. First of all, I'm afraid of heights. You're afraid of heights? <laughs> so climbing the pole was kind of a problem Oh, for you me. don't have to go that high up the pole. I mean, what are we talking about? Two or three feet? Well, there was a grandma in the class with me. There were lots of different stop, stop. women. I don't like the direction we're going in now. She was better on the pole than I was. Well, she's when... got more experience on the pole. She's a grandma. <laughs> Eat. Knock it off, you filthy-minded bastard. The, um... So, do they have a class where all the girls go and they... Right, they... like, so you go to feel empowered, and it's about women empowered? empowered. What, you yes. get a dollar you know, every time you... No, you sort of... <laughs> you love your body, you stroke your body. Like, there's a lot of self-love going on, and then you jump on the pole. <laughs> You literally run at that thing, jump, grab it, and you're supposed to swing around. I am all about this. I need to lose some weight. Let's do it. <laughs> no, but I got bruised shins, and um, I I'm not that I'm not that good with the pole. Right. Well, I, I had a problem with with. I mean, no wait. Hang on. Yeah. I'm not that good with the stripper pole in the strip strip dancing <laughs> class. I just I, I was going. a little uncoordinated with it. Do you know I once went to I, I once very long time ago went to a strip club. I know it seems insane, but <laughs> it and it was in Australia. Oh, which one? Where? Uh, not which one? You know them. <laughs> ah, it was. It, the, it was the big Australia next to the little New Zealand. It was the. Uh, <laughs> No, it was, um, it was in Adelaide. Uh, the Crazy Horse Striptease Saloon in Adelaide. I had my 25th birthday party there. Striptease Saloon? That's what it was called, in yeah. Ad Adelaide's like the tiniest, most wholesome place. I can't believe they have a strip There's club. a little pocket of CD. <laughs> they got a little pocket of CD right there, and I found it. I went to strip, <laughs> I went to strip clubs in Sydney. Do you really? Do you go to strip clubs? I've always secretly wanted to be a stripper. Well, let's get a pool in here, for God's sake. No, listen, I'm no good at it. Oh, right, 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 okay. Yeah. Wow. Why, now, why do you think, because I, I think a lot of girls would, would question that, if who were Well, no, because uh, there's some, I mean, first of all, having done the class, I right. learned that it's a real skill, the dancing that they do. Oh, I certainly. I mean, it's required. To me, you know? to me it's like watching sport. <laughs> no. But it is. It's like ballet. It requires enormous strength yeah. and, and coordination, apparently none of which I possess. Right, I, well, you know, it, you gave it a good old college try, and that's I did, what counts. I did, I yeah. did. But when the granny beat me in the class, I knew it was time to leave. I was like, when the granny's upside down, swiveling down when the, the pole. When the, when, when the <laughs> granny not. beats you, it's time to leave the strip club. <laughs> when the... Uh, are you going to take your little boy to Australia? Has he been to Australia yet? We're going this Christmas. Oh, really? So he'll be a year?
He'll be, he, he's a year on December 23rd. Right. I'm trying to make a really big deal out of his birthday because it's right before Christmas Eve. Right, no. So no. we're going to have a big party in Australia. He, Lots of alcohol for one. the adults. Yeah, well, it's Australia. A petting zoo for the kids. Yeah, it's going to be like a big, wild party that my mom's throwing there for him. It's Australia. It's, right? It is a big, wild party. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The whole country is. It's, it's kind of, it's a very good, fun place to go, isn't it? It is. I haven't been in such a long time. And, you know, I think he was talking about this Crazy Horse Striptease Saloon in Adelaide's really got me thinking I should go back. <laughs> I'll go with you. Really? Yeah, they have amateur nights at some strip club. I think every night is amateur night in the Crazy Horse. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's all right. And some of the guys get up there too. You've got to keep That's in what shape. I, I wouldn't get up there, obviously, but I would get up, I would watch you. I, I, I'm okay with it. Yicky, oh, yicky, don't. Yicky, yicky. Have you toured around Australia? Have you had a look around? It's a fascinating place, you know. You probably just stayed in Sydney and was all, you know, no, cosmopolitan. I, <laughs> no, I've been to, well, mostly Sydney, actually. Right, yeah. No, I, you know, I, I wanted to go to Ayers Rock. Ayers Rock. We can't call it Ayers Rock anymore. It's called Uluru now. Is it really? Yep. Ayers Rock is a colonial name that was given to it by the British, but it doesn't belong to the British. It belongs to the Aboriginal people who live there, so it's called Uluru. Did they actually officially change the name? I did. <laughs> it's a... No, I, I actually... I was told that by... Do you know a guy called Ernie Dingo? He's Australian. He's a stand-up Yeah, comedian. I know Ernie See, Dingo. See, they do all know each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Ernie, Ernie is a, a Aboriginal, and he, uh, he told me that it's called Uluru, not Ayers Rock. I really wanted to go to Uluru. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I didn't get there. I almost got to the Barrier Reef, the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, no. As opposed to the not so great Barrier Reef. <laughs> <laughs> so the crap Barrier Reef. Yeah, yeah. The not good. And then just reef. the reef. It's not even a barrier. It's just, you know, it's just an old pram lying in the water. <laughs> no. um, yes, well, I didn't get there. And uh, I've been to Melbourne. Well, that's nice. Melbourne's lovely. You know, there's, there's a lot, they've got trams in Melbourne. Yeah, kind of like San Francisco. A little bit. <laughs> well, they have a lot of ding, ding, ding in San Francisco as well. Yeah. Nothing to do with the trams. No, that's the noise that the bell makes on no, the trams. That's right, that's ding, the noise ding, that the bell makes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. We're out of time. Listen, uh, Poppy Montgomery, everybody. It's lovely to see you. Come we'll right back. <laughs> Please welcome Poppy Montgomery, everybody. Hey, Poppy. First of all, you look sensational. May I say, your hair looks great. I know, but Jeff upstaged my hair tonight. Uh, my well, new red hair. Nah. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, okay, no. Jeff's hair is the same color as mine. No, yours is Because I like it because it's pretty. You're pretty. I like you. <laughs> I like you too, oh, Jeff. Oh, that's nice. Then I would hate for if things got weird. <laughs> no, your hair's lovely. It's very, Thank very you. nice. Very red. It? It, oh, yeah, it's good. And that clip there, that was interesting. That was what the hell was going I on? I actually there? don't. I haven't seen that yet. Because this show is great. Uh, it's, it's, it's great. But, you know, Mary Lou Henner, who plays my aunt on the show, she actually actually has this thing that my character has, this ability where she can remember, remember everything. everything. everything yeah. so, so, we cast her in the show as a woman who's forgetting everything. <laughs> so, I don't want to give it away, but, well, you'll see when you see no, the show. No, no, wait, no, 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 you have to give it away. Like, she, in the, like, in real life, Mary Lou Hannah can remember everything? She can remember everything. Right. Everything. You, really? Yeah, like, she, you could say to her, um, what were you wearing on June 15th, 1984? And she could tell you what she was wearing, what she ate for breakfast, if she made out with someone, if she... Whatever no, you she... You remember if you make out with someone, hopefully. Not always. But if you... If you, if you... <laughs> really? No! Tell me about me. that! No! When was the last time you made out with something that you forgot about? Well, you said you forgot about, but you actually remember. Okay. Well, can you ask me that again? <laughs> I can't. The union only allows me to ask the question once. I'm sorry, you have to answer me. 
<laughs> no, I, I can't remember what I asked you. It was something I, to do with... Uh, not remembering who I made out with last. Right. But you do that. But that's not now. This is before. Right. Before I was... In the in the before times. <laughs> in the before before I was a mother. Right, right. When you were... I may have made out with some people that I didn't remember making you out with. You know when, you, when, you're an, when you're an actress and you have to make out with guys, like uh, in this scene you make out with this guy you've never met before? Yes, and, I do yeah. it all the time. Right, right. <laughs> No, for my job. I mean, I don't... <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. I meant that. But, yeah. but when you're uh, making out with someone, so say like there's a camera problem, and you have to make out with someone, then you have to make out with them again, yeah. and then there's a problem, and then you have to make out with them. Right. Like there, there's like 15 more make out or sessions mm -hmm. than you thought you were going to have right. to have. Do they start getting through? You know, you start, you know, have feelings for the person. Oh, well, it depends on who the person is. Like there are some people you make out with and you net you you're like please don't break camera I just want to do this once, and there are some people where you actually go up to the cameraman and you're like can you make this happen 15 times? Really? Now that's not me. I've never done that. No, I wouldn't believe for a second. I wouldn't believe for a second. Hey, do you know what I was going to say? I think your accent's probably gone away completely. My Australian accent? Yeah, yeah. It comes back sometimes. Really? When I drink. <laughs> When Someone you drink and make out with strangers, I'm sure that's when I, it comes I, I back. Make, I'm ah, come on, come on, come on, give us I a kiss. I don't do that. <laughs> come on. Come on, come give on. us a kiss. I do sound a little Crocodile Dundee-ish when I drink. Really? Yeah, it sort of starts to creep do back you, in. Do, do, you have a, do you have a drinking problem? Do you, do you? No, and I, no. Wait a second. You know the, record, the first symptom is denial. I don't make out with strangers and I don't have a drinking problem. Well, I, I think the evidence is beginning <laughs> to suggest otherwise. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> And I remember people I make out with. Fondly? I just want. <laughs> <laughs> We're straying into some very. Well, you know, I was thinking, like, I don't have to do that in my job. I don't have to make out with anyone in my but job. But you could. No, no, I, I wouldn't be Ever? allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be allowed to. Yeah, I had to walk away from the whole acting game. I was like, oh, you can't be kissing. Well, that's. I know it's difficult when you're in a relationship and then the person you're with has to watch you. Naked and would, would there ever somebody be, else. Well, you're on CBS. You're not going to be doing any, you know, graphic scenes of. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> or are you? Because that, because that, that's. Oh, you know, that's that would help. Why I'm laughing? Because I really, I'm acting like I did something wrong. And I swear. <laughs> no, no, no. On CBS, no. They, you, they really can't. They don't show a lot of. I mean, there's a rule. You can't even cuss on CBS. Did you know that? I, I mean, Rocky didn't got me off, Roy. <laughs> They're gonna what? They're, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Mechanism on the show? No, you can't show any. Um, I don't know how to put this down. Ass crack? Crack? Yeah. No crack. No sack. <laughs> Who wants to see sack? Not even people that wanna see sack wanna see sack. Wait a second. No nipple. Can you say nope. nipple and see me? <laughs> yeah, you can only say one no. If you say two, it implies too much. And actually no side booby. No side booby? That's no. a shame. That's my favourite part. Mine too. I do. I love a bit of side booby. When you see side booby, I think, ooh, look at you, Barbarella. I always think. I don't think you can... I don't think side bum either. Really? Mm -mm. It's so really, basically, you can't show anything. You can show neck, hands, feet, and a kiss. You can... <laughs> Neck, hands, feet, and a kiss? That's all I need, gosh darn it. That's when I know the girl's right for me. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, neck, hands, feet, and a kiss. Sounds like a good night out to me. Oh, man, that's the stuff. You have oh, kangaroo you're a, balls, don't you? I was you? just about to say, I was going to ask you, because I Since have kangaroo balls from Australia, and I wondered, uh, you being Australian, if you were familiar with which type of kangaroo they were from. I think... Obviously a small one. <laughs> are they shrunken kangaroo balls, or are they regular size? Uh, I don't know. I've never been that close to a kangaroo. You tell me. I, I... Well, they're not from a big red kangaroo. Because... Clearly. <laughs> yeah. I question your ball's authenticity. Yes, but... No, Carrie Fisher gave me these. Well, then I don't question their authenticity. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I bet they're real. Well, you know what's weird? Do you know what's weird? Like, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> close your eyes. You're going to put your balls in my head? I'm not. You... <laughs> All right. I'm crying. 
Di no, just close your eyes. It's an I'm very... I've never done this. It's an okay. experiment, all right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though. I tell you what's good. You really know what you're doing when it comes to that. And I tell you, I, on behalf of gentlemen around the country, we appreciate it. All right. Okay, I was just cupping my... Yes, that's right! No, no. Look, is it one ball or two? It's, well, I think it's two or else it's one with a scar. <laughs> Anyway, look, I just want to experiment. Close your okay, eyes. Okay, all right, but oh, which kind? All right. <laughs> They're very soft. <laughs> Next time, I'll use the kangaroo ones. <laughs> right. We're out of time. So, what would you like? Would you like awkward pause? Awkward pause? <laughs> I think uh, we've already had. Yeah, I know. <laughs> awkward pause, mouth organ, uh, go for the big cash prize, or a new one I've just invented, cup. My kangaroo. I've already cupped your kangaroo right. balls. Yeah. So what I'm going to go for is the money. Big cash prize. Big yes, cash prize. I like it. I okay. love it. All right. I love it. All you have to do is answer one question. You can win 50, uh, 50 uh, American dollars. Uh, all in singles. Acceptable at any strip club in the United States. I was going to say. Right. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the big cash prize. this could be yours. Okay. All right. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its uh. capital city is Reykjavik. True or false? Female red-sided garter snakes mate by summoning hundreds of males for an orgy. <laughs> Wait, is that one whole question or did the first part? Yeah, some of it, Iceland's just a thing I do. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Females having or... What? The female red-sided... Just leave it. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> The female red-sided garter snake mates by summoning hundreds of males for an orgy. Yes, true. Is in fact the correct answer you have ever done. Great. Thank you. You're, I mean, just fabulous. You got a you got a tan and everything going on. I got a tan. I mean, I've got a new black dress you, that I wore for you. Uh, well, it's great. Uh, I'm I'm glad I'm glad you wore it. Jeff doesn't have. The last time I was here, Jeff had red hair and a woman's voice. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> well. Well, what well, happened to you, Jeff? You have red hair and a woman's voice. That's right. It, yeah. I thought you had modeled Jeff after I me. I can't honor. remember Jeff having red hair and a woman's voice. Was it, did you, uh, were you high? No. No. I bet if you go back and look, I'm right. Jeff I had a red I'm... wig on and a woman's voice, and I'm not crazy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think everybody's me. No, it's no. not. I promise you. They, really? Yes. Well, I believe you. <laughs> And well, now, I'm thinking, yeah, we tried that for a night, didn't we? And, uh, and it, it didn't work out. No. No, no. <laughs> so Jeff went back to being a man. Yeah, sort of. Was, was that here on the show or out on the street? <laughs> <laughs> so listen, Poppy, now, we, I, have I seen this before? You've seen my tattoos. Oh, we yeah, actually huh? promised each other a long time ago that I would show you all of them. But oh, you had yeah. to wear an Elvis Presley jumpsuit, and you never did. Yeah, well, I'm wearing one now underneath my <laughs> Does that mean I show you, you my tattoo? You, have you got stuff around the back there, around it, right down? I went to the back, didn't I? Yeah, I well, that's stuff, a, that was yes. the tail. You said tattoos, and then you went they to the They actually ass. went on full... <laughs> I can see ass, can I? I was at Disneyland this weekend. You were at Disneyland? I was at Disneyland this weekend, and I wore this nice white sundress, and I took my four-year-old to Disneyland, and he wanted to go on Splash Mountain. Oh, yeah, I've been on that. Right. Ooh, the white... Oh, yeah. 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 But I didn't really think you get splashed. Oh, yes, you Not do. like that. Yeah. So I came off of Splash Mountain, and then my son said, Mama's dress is stuck to her boobies. <laughs> That's what he started yelling. And I was like, we're leaving now. We're leaving. You know, I have actually used that phrase before fairly recently. <laughs> Mama's dress is stuck to her boobies. <laughs> yeah, but his was kind of innocent. Like, he thought it... Well, maybe well, it not. was, yeah, I'm sure. I, I, but did you have a nice time otherwise? Yeah, it was great. I mean, I never went back after that first ride. No. I uh, was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. Mickey Mouse saw my boobs. 
You know, that mouse has been around for a long time. <laughs> I think he was that impressed. Oh, I think he'd be impressed. I think it was a woman under that costume. Oh, don't Jeff. even say that. I do. No. Mickey Mouse didn't even look. Do you know once, you know how they get into terrible trouble if they take their heads off? Like, they get fired. Do like, they really? Yeah, if the people who are inside get fired, if they take their heads off. But once I was at an <laughs> event there, it was when I used to smoke and I went round the back of this thing to smoke and Mickey Mouse was there, head off, smoking a cigarette. No, he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey's dirty. Yeah, yeah, he smoked he and he was like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> And I was like, oh, oh, Mickey. And he went, yeah, mama's dress is sticking to her boobies. No, I've had so many inappropriate mommy moments. I felt like that one really capped it off. Nah, you're all right. It's, it, it's all right. It happens. People forgive. No, Move I, on. I took Jackson, my son, to buy a Batman costume because right. he really wanted one. I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> now I do, too. Really? Well, it's a bad girl. We were in New York, so I read about this place. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's by a company called Secret Desires. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't, that was another reason. Isn't there, a, isn't there a copyright infringement thing here? <laughs> they can't just make bad girl, bad girl outfits, can they? In a children, it was called Halloween Adventure, and I thought that meant that kind of adventure, like for Halloween, but oh. they had a section that wasn't. For growing up Halloween? Right, but then Jackson saw the Batgirl costume on the mannequin and he said, you have to get that, Mama. <laughs> and I said, no. Yeah. And he had a full-blown tantrum, so oh, I well, said to the woman, can you just get it for me? And she said, it's in the sexy section. <laughs> and I so, got it anyway. So you've got it? Yeah, I tried it on. Uh, and you still have it? Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm not going to part with that. It's latex. Hey, hey. <laughs> It's latex? I didn't wear it. In, I mean, he wanted me to... I put, a, I put sweatpants under it when I play with Jack. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? He's you, four! I said, well, okay, so put him to bed. <laughs> it's bedtime, Jackson. Mama's got to go and fight crime. <laughs> it had thigh-high vinyl boots. Stop it, really? It did. Well, latex, actually. i got to get me one of those. <laughs> uh, so I win Mothering Award of the Year. Yeah, for sure. Disneyland and Latex Batgirl. Yeah, we got to take a commercial break. <laughs> Bye. I mean, we'll be back. September 14th, 1983. That day mean anything to you? Excuse me. Addison Reserve. The woods along Route 6, by the ball fields. Ringing any bells yet? I know the area. My sister, Rachel Wells, was murdered on that day in those woods. You were there, weren't you? Yeah. So it's a comedy then. Oh, man. Not much going on. They, uh, listen, uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, unforgettable on the CBS. Whoa. <laughs> yes! Woo! Um, we're out of time. Oh, my God. Yeah, so uh, what would you like? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ. Uh, you mouth could, organ. Wait, wait. Oh. Awkward pause, mouth organ, splash mountain, <laughs> or... Big cash prize. Mouth organ. You don't want big cash prize? I already won the big cash prize. Okay. Just usually people go for the big cash prize. It was all in ones, and everyone wanted to know why I had so many ones with me. Well, we, we changed that. Now it's in quarters, in a bag with a dollar sign on it. How much money is in there? Fifty bucks. Nope. I want the mouth organ. All right. Let me just say this. Fine. We can go for the mouth organ, but let me just say this. The next time you go for a quarter for a parking meter, I want you to remember this moment. All right. I'll take the big cash prize. No. You went for the mouth organ. <laughs> so that when the guys are towing your car away, you can go. Is that what you want? Big cash prize, right? Fine. Big cash prize. Big what cash time prize. is the shadow statement? It's time for the big cash prize. Here's how it works. I'm going to throw in a mouth organ hey. and a bag of uh, quarters in a, you know, with a dollar sign on it. Two ways to win. Here's how you can do it. Don't oh. touch the money till you've earned it. Um, <laughs> You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You try and guess what's in it. If you're right, Jeff will tell us. If you're wrong, something awful happens. Bucket of water, white dress. I want your box. You want my box? I want All right. your box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, I'm imagining a box in my head. Mm. Jeff, do you have the box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Poppy, what's in the box? White dress sticking to boobies. White dress sticking to <laughs> boobies! <laughs> Regular viewers to this show will already know these ladies, of course. This is uh, Tuyen and Lisa. They, uh, they do hair and makeup in the show, and every time they're on the show, we discovered last week, the ratings go up. <laughs> and I'm like, really? And we checked, and we checked again, and they were on the show last week, and they went up again. So then I thought, well, wait, uh, what if they were dressed as sexy spies or something? <laughs> Luckily, we had some sunglasses lying around. <laughs> Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Craig, wait a minute. I thought you didn't care about ratings. Well, I don't, but I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, I care a little bit. Not that much, but I mean, a little bit. Look, what's the harm is what I'm saying. <laughs> so I know what you're thinking. Craig, wait a minute. You were the one that said, you don't care about ratings. You only want to do the show you want to do. Yeah, and this is the show I want to do. <laughs> now. Here's the thing, though. If Tuyen and Lisa are dressed as spies, I think it's probably demeaning unless you do something spyish. <laughs> like, conceal something. <laughs> you always said you like the show best when it looks like I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. Not as much fun as I would like to have, but some fun. I'm having some fun. What the hell is that for? <laughs> a rolling pin? Why would you hand me a rolling pin? I'm talking about Tia and Lisa. They look great in their sexy spy outfits, and you hand me a ooh -la -la rolling pin? <laughs> it's the... Michael's got a cold, did you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course you knew your spies. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cold. So I said, what are you doing for your cold? He said, Ricola, and I'm wearing a jacket. <laughs> That's why he gets to run this. <laughs> and now, uh, clearly, he's taken more than uh, Ricola for his cold. Right? <laughs> you thought this would be a good idea, didn't you? But this is a good idea. I think, the, I think you look great. And already our ratings are through the roof. <laughs> we'll be right back then. More of you.